hey welcome back so in this video we are actually going to use indirect offset and all the other text functions that we learned so far now first let's just try to understand what do we want to achieve in this now I want to have a data validation in here so that I can select all of these states and then in the city I would want a drop down list of data validation so I can get only those cities for which state are selected so first let's just do the data validation for all of these states now you can select this entire column you go to the data tab you go to data validation from here you change it to list and then you check the source now you have to select it all the source all the states you can do it horizontally or vertically in this case we will be doing vertical now I will close this and I will press OK now if I click in here I'm going to get all of my states for example Haryana then in here I will be getting Bihar now in here I want a validation so that I can get only those cities which belongs to the Haryana state now I am going to break down all of the concepts or all of the contents of the formula that we will be using so that it will dynamically choose this list so let's just begin alright so first let's just try to make this thing manual as of now and then we will make it dynamic so let's suppose I am selecting Assam as a state now in here what do I want I want a range from E2 till E11 now how we can achieve it first if you remember we can use our offset function which gives me this range now let's just quickly do that so what do I need I need offset then reference what is my first reference my reference is in in this case this is Assam comma rows how many rows do I have to go down so from this reference I would want to go one level down so I will click one rows column as of now I don't want to go any column so I will press 0 now what is the height so my height will be starting from this particular cell to this cell so how can I count it so basically I can use my count a function if you remember to count how many rows have data in the E column now how many rows I have data it will tell me 1 2 3 4 so basically it is going to give me till 11th row it is going to give me 11 but from this cell how many cells I have to go down what is the height of my range so my height of the range will always be minus 2 because 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 so I have to go 9 cell down from E2 so count A will give me 11 so I have to do minus 2 and then I will close my bracket now this is a function that is actually going to select the range so let's just test it I'm going to use this function inside the data validation so I'll go to data validation and I will click on the list from here I will paste this and I will press OK now if I select I am getting all the cities of Assam right now all I have to do is just change this dynamically so if I change my state from here it should do all those things as of now it will be giving only for Assam because I have selected only for Assam so let's just try to solve this and understand how we can make it dynamically so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring that formula back so this is the formula in front of you now let's just try to break it down so first thing that we have to do is we have to create this E colon E with the help of indirect and address formula now how we can do that so first we will try to find out the column name for Assam so how we can do that if you remember I can use the match function now what is the lookup value Assam is my lookup value comma and in this entire first row I want to find where Assam is coming so this is going to tell me Assam is coming in the fifth number so one two three four and five so if I change this let's suppose to Andhra Pradesh it should be four so indeed this is working now there is the one more formula which is address now what address does basically now address needs a row number and a column number so what is my row number for Andhra Pradesh my row number for Andhra Pradesh is 1 and what is my column number my column number is 5 for Assam so I can use this column number I will close the bracket and I will hit enter now it is giving me E1 for Assam now if I change this to Andhra Pradesh it will give me D1 now I can use this match formula inside this B4 so that I would not be needing this one now now I am getting D1 
Now, if you remember, there was a formula substitute. Now, what I'm going to substitute from this value, I will be substituting the dollar and I will replace it with no sign or a blank space. I will close it and then I will hit enter. Now, I'm getting D1. Now, if you remember left function, what left function will do? Left function will give me the number of characters I want from left. So, if the word is D1, I want 1 from there, which is D. Now, I'm getting dynamic D in here. Correct? Now, I can again copy this formula and I can use my concatenate option or AND character. So, I will use AND. Then, I will use colon. I will use another AND and I will paste this formula once again. Now, what it will give me? Now, it will give me D colon D. Now, if I change this, it is actually going to give me F column F. So, that is for Bihar. Now, I can, if you remember, there is the indirect function. Now, indirect function is going to convert this EE into a actual range. And before that, I can also use my count A and I will close the bracket. Now, it is going to count how many characters or how many values are there in the particular column. So, this is telling me there are 29 columns. So, if I change this to Assam, that should actually give me 11. So, which is count A, E, E. Now, also I have to do minus 2. So, this 9, this 9 number is coming in here. Because of this count A, E, E, now this is dynamically. So, I can use this formula count A instead of count A, E, E and minus 2. So, this is now my dynamic formula to count the number of rows. Alright, now in here, my reference point is E1. I don't want my reference point to be E1. So, let's just put my reference point to D1. So, what I'm going to do, instead of E1, I will be changing it to D1. Now, I know I have to go one row down. But, this is also telling me I can move my columns. From D1, I can go to E, F, G. I just have to tell how many rows I have to move. So, to go to Assam, I have to move one row. So, how can I do that? Again, I can use my match function to actually tell me where Assam is coming in this particular range. I will close it. I will close it and I will hit enter. Now, Assam is coming at 2 but I want to move one level up. So, I will subtract this by one. Now, dynamically, if I change it to Andhra Pradesh, it will be by default zero. And if I move it to Bihar, it will be two level up. So, what I have to do, I have to copy this formula and instead of zero that I am uh, writing in here, I have to change this zero with my formula. Now, this is a dynamic formula. It will automatically move to whichever state I am selecting. So, let me copy this entire big formula and now I am going to delete all of these things and I will be just selecting all my rows and then I will go to data, data validation, data validation, I will select it to list and then I will paste this formula and I will press OK. Now, this is a dynamic formula. Now, if I see, I have the cities list of Bihar. In here, now I am getting all the cities of Gujarat. Now, in the bottom, if I change this to, let's suppose, Haryana, I will be getting all the cities of Haryana. So, this is how your dynamic function works. Now, I have also listed this function right in here for you and I will be saving this file in the content section. So, you can also go through it. Go through this video once again to understand it. So, this is all from this video. From next, we will start learning some more advanced functions like pivot tables and charts.